I've been watching one of my videos last week. Awesome to see you here again, guys. Hey, today I want to talk about plasma cutter gouging. And can you gouge with a plasma cutter, especially a cheap plasma cutter, where you can't buy the gouging consumables and tips for the torch? So, uh, if you guys know what gouging is, you know when you when you want to get a bit of a weld out of whatever it's welded together, you're trying to separate the weld, or you're trying to do a little channel in a lump of steel. You know, you don't really want a cutting tip because that um, that'll cut through your steel. All you want to do is sort of dish out it a little bit. Thing they call it uh, gouging, plasma gouging, and uh, you can't really do it with a cheap um, with a cheap plasma cutter. You know these Chinese plasma cutters because they don't sell the individual consumables to do that with them. Anyway, guys, I've got a little trick here, and uh, might help you out if you want to do a little bit of gouging with your old cheap plasma cutter. So, uh, as usual, guys, remember subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing. Drop me a like, drop me a comment, and uh, let's get into it, eh? So you're wanting to put a, uh, a ridge or a bit of a, a hole in, it, in a lump of steel or something like this. So for example, uh, this is a half inch, just a half inch steel plate. Um, so if I use a normal tip, it's going to go there, it's going to try and cut it. But what we need to do is um, try and get it so we can actually so like put a ridge in it along here without cutting right through it. Because the, the normal tip will just cut it. And uh, that's, we don't really want to accomplish that. What we want to do, like uh, you imagine that you have this here like so, and you have this piece here welded on there, and you have a whole lot of tack welds down here. And what you want to do is you want to take this piece off, but you don't want to cut through this piece. So if you use a normal, if you use a normal plasma tip, and you're cutting down here, chances are you're going to cut through this piece. And you also don't want to be left with all the, all the weld either side that you have to grind off of the grinder. So what they use is they use a gouging tip, whereas they just blow the, the weld out without like damaging both sides of the thing, if you understand what I'm saying. But the trouble is with these cheap torches like, like I use here and the cheap consumables, they don't come with the variation of the tips. Like they don't come with a gouging tip and they don't come with a piercing tip. So you, all you're basically left with is a cutting tip. So I've just uh, got this little idea that I had and I've been using it for the last couple of years. And it seems to work perfectly fine on this sort of torch, and I can't see any reason why it wouldn't work on any other sort of torches. That if you just want to do some, um, you know, you want to dig out a little hole where you want to do something in your steel, but you don't want to cut right through it, then, uh, yeah, just watch this, guys. So I've got my trusty torch here, guys. As per usual, as you can see, it's just got a normal consumable in it. A uh, PT31. Just got your, your normal consumables in there. Now I'll show you what happens when I try and gouge out this. It won't it won't gouge, it'll try and cut it. So uh, just bear with me and I'll show you. See how that's just cutting it off there guys, it's just gone straight through that uh, half inch plate. Here we want to carve out a little sort of thing where we had some welds here, we want to take them off. We don't want to cut through the whole half inch plate, so how do we do that? Um, check a little of this. So what you need here guys is just a normal cutting tip, just your normal cutting tip like so. And uh, you're going to need a, a cordless drill or a drill or something and a drill bit. So what we'll do, so we'll get my drill. Now the drill bit I'm using is a um, 332 size for you American guys, or it's about two and a half millimeters for us Imperial guys. So uh, anyway, it's about that size. It wouldn't go very much bigger because you'll uh, you put too much splay on your on your um, on your gouge. So what you want to do is get your get your new cutting nozzle. Don't use an old one for the simple reason that the old ones are already burned out, and what they've done is they've already started to, to go in different directions. See that hole sort of blowing out one way or the other, whereas the new one you can re-drill it and you can drill it centre. So what you do is you're going to need your vise and turn your consumable, well these sort anyway, um, the other thoughts you might be able to just put in the, in the jaws, but I just turn these upside down because this has got a little ridge here that will sit on the jaws of your vise. So turn it upside down and uh, just put it in your vise like that and don't squash it too much because you'll squash the end of it just so it's tight and so that that little, little lip holds down there and just get your drill because we're drilling through the bottom of it we're not coming through the top of it, we're going through the bottom of it so you've already got a hole there so put your drill bit in there so it's um, 
centers, it'll automatically center in the hole. Don't put too much pressure on it because it's only a really thin drill bit and uh, we'll just drill it out. There we go. Right, now I shall show you and take it out of the vise. Can you see that now? Can you see the hole size in there now? It's probably one and a half times bigger than what the original hole was in the thing. Like I say, I use a, um, I use a two and a half mil or, or three thirty two um, drill bit, but you can go one size bigger. But I wouldn't go any any bigger than that because, like I say, it, it splays out your um, it splays out your cut too much. So uh, that's it, basically. That's what we do, and then we just reassemble it in the torch. So what we need to do, guys, is just take out our regular consumable, our stock standard consumable cutting tip, take that off like that and um, put it on the one that we just modified so put that on the top, just assemble it exactly the same way what I'll try and do is just like put a little V in here and just see if I can do a little channel or something down to here uh, without actually cutting through the steel, so let's have a go at doing that guys See what that's done guys, can you see that? And that's gouged this out. You see that's probably four millimeters, three millimeters lower than this without buggering the end of it. And you can just tidy that up, like we just flick it off with a grinder and then you've got a little gouge in there. So that's good and it's also good for um, for tapering off the edges and that sort of thing. Um, I'll try and show you how it looks cutting it through the, through the, um, through the glasses that I've got because you can actually see it cutting it out, you can actually see it balling it out. Whereas with your normal cutter, all it'll do is cut it. Because see here you've got a wide, very wide now, when you're plasma cutting normally with a normal tip, it's very narrow because it's, it's, a, it's a very forced line of, of air that's trying to cut directly through. But what you're doing now is you're splaying out your, um, you're splaying out your plasma arc. Um, the, the more expensive torches, like I said, you can buy the different nozzles and that sort of thing for them. But the cheaper ones that I like using, you have same to thing, but I'll put, the, uh, put my welding lens on the camera, so hopefully you'll be able to see the way it uh, carves it out. So what we'll basically do is we're trying to cut, maybe gouge out between these two lines here. You can see these two lines, maybe we gouge out half of this or something, something like that. So uh, hopefully you'll be able to see it, and uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Right, so let's give this a go, guys. Yeah, guys, I hope you can see that. Um, yeah, so it just pushes the molten metal forward all the time, and as you can see here, we've cut that out quite deep now. I'll uh, take the uh, lens off and I'll show you. See that, guys? See how much that's cut into there? That's cut quite a bit in there. It's probably, yeah, maybe five millimeters, maybe. This is a uh, half inch stick, so maybe five mil in there. So you can just carve it out and carve a notch or put some wires in there, whatever you're doing, maybe for your trailer or something. You know, if you're running it along the uh, running along the structure of your trailer but um yeah so it definitely works um if you try doing that with the normal tip it won't you can't do it you can't you can't roll the ball of molten 
forward if you understand what I'm saying. So you need to splay it a little bit like it is. So that little simple hack will do that for you. And it doesn't do any damage to your, uh, to your consumables. Look, you see me do that, and you see me do the other thing. Look at this end of this torch here. No damage whatsoever. It's as clean as a whistle. But just remember guys, don't go too big in the hole. Got some more useless information for you. Always remember guys, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a line, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day. Hey, um, Pete's always glad to say hi to you. Anyway guys, once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye.